I'm about to show you a house in Chelsea, London at just under nine million pounds. Hello, I'm Grant James Bates. Welcome to the latest episode of London Property Tours from my YouTube channel. We're in Chelsea today. Come through and I'll walk you around. So before I talk to you about the house, I want to talk to you about the location because the location on this one is absolutely stand out. We're on Cheney Place, which is at the eastern end of Cheney Walk, a really historic street through the 18th and 19th centuries. It was home to George Eliot, the writer, JMW, the painter, and we even had Oscar Wilde just across the way. Brilliant location. We're sandwiched between Chelsea, Sloane Square, and the Thames Embankment. We've got Albert Bridge, just down here, takes you straight over to Battersea and Battersea Park. Sloan Square, home of course to Belgravia, the Platinum Triangle, one of the most expensive areas to live in London. And Chelsea, of course, with the King's Road. Immediately in the vicinity of the house, we have Chelsea Botanical Gardens. We have Gordon Ramsay's three Michelin star restaurant. I'm gonna say 10, 15 steps away. And we have the local favorite, which is the Surprise Pub, just tucked away around there. The exterior of the property is incredibly charming. It's imposing, it's pretty, it's actually neoclassical. So despite looking period and more akin to the properties that were built in the 18th and 19th century, it was built far more recently, which has several advantages in terms of the layout, which we can go through as we walk through. I love the wisteria on the outside, the volume of windows. Corner plot, have I said that? Well, it is, which means you get the dual aspect and again, lots of natural light absolutely love the exterior of this home. So the house is just over 4,000 square feet and that's predominantly across three floors. I say predominantly because there is a fourth floor, there is a basement, but that is mainly the utility and plant room. There are plans though drawn up to extend down there which we can share with any interested buyers. Eight beds, six baths, multiple reception rooms there's a lot of space it's low it's wide which tends to be a big preference from london buyers for that lateral space that convenient living space so let me take you through the ground floor we've got one reception here nicely high ceilings recessed lighting marble fireplace fully working fireplace most of the house has air conditioning underfloor heating which is great and I love the separation of space because we're double fronted. We've got the reception room here and the dining room just through here on the corner and the dual aspect. So dining room here, brilliant place to entertain. As I said, we're on that corner plot. We've got that dual aspect again. We've got good high ceilings, air conditioning. Again, the recessed lighting and the coving. And through here to the back, we've got another kitchen and dining space. There's also a guest bedroom en suite. The only bedroom actually on the lower floors. All your other bedrooms are upstairs. In terms of outdoor space, there's a fair amount of it. We have a front garden, a terrace to the back, and there's also another terrace up on the first floor. So up on the first floor, I love the central staircase, an advantage again of having a house that's this wide and double fronted. We've got this lovely panel in as well along the stairs and in the hallway. And on this floor, we've got two bedroom suites, a study 
and this great terrace, which I'll show you more of in a moment. Love how the study is staged here, although we won't go in there. I'm gonna take you straight into the principal suite. Says something about the size of a room, if you can have a four poster bed, right? I love this. Haven't told you about the windows, I'm just noticing I look out onto the wisteria. They are all sashed, despite the property being neoclassical, and we've got secondary glazing on much of them as well. There's a walkthrough wardrobe here, and we've got your ensuite bathroom with double sink, freestanding tub, walk-in rainfall shower, and a Japanese toilet. <laughs> On the second and top floor, we have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Two of those bedrooms are suites. So we conclude the tour up on the first floor terrace. There's actually over 800 square feet of outdoor space with this home across three separate gardens or terraces. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm at Grant J Bates on all socials. Again, just to remind you, so please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff. That's TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. The house is available now at a shade under nine million pounds. So for any more questions or if you'd like to take a look in person, you can drop me a line either by responding to this video, messaging me on Instagram or drop me an email. Take care.